<laughs> Hello, everyone. Sup? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so, uh, this is episode three of Game on Titans. And a uh, little quick uh, reminder of what happened last week. I got immunity. So, yeah, I am basically safe for this episode. Spoiler alert. Um, but, yeah, let's go ahead and check out what happens in episode three. So let's jump right in. On the last episode of Game on Titans, the challenge was to get a kill with a Molotov cocktail. Loki RG found himself in the top once again, but it was Nova Light who shone the brightest. That's what I'm talking about. Chicken dinner. Wow. Winning the challenge and immunity from elimination this week. Oh my gosh. Yay. Thank you guys so much. I'm so excited. It was a case of deja vu in the bottom two last week. First, we had Tiger Style, who found himself in another 1v1 elimination challenge with none other than Real Blue TV. Yeah! Real Blue was able to prevail, winning 10 to 2 in the elimination challenge and sending Tiger Style back into the wild. Let's say hello to our Rip. remaining contestants. First up, we have Real Blue TV. I just gotta ask, after, you know, coming out on top of that elimination, who do you think your biggest competition is now? Biggest competition, probably low key. If it comes down to an elimination challenge and I gotta go up against low key, I gotta be ready for that. So I gotta be on top of my game. Everyone else watching these clips, I know I can probably beat them in a 1v1. Not worried about that. He seems like the only one that has gun skill that can match me if we had to 1v1 each other. Ooh, that's see that <laughs> so he's confident um of course but uh i mean he can back it up you know because he's a he's a he's a really good player however at this point we haven't really seen much from a lot of the other contestants like haven't really seen much from me like obviously i won uh last week's competition so i don't have to worry about uh being eliminated this week but he hasn't really seen that much gameplay especially from like tanya haven't really seen much from her um, Coda hasn't seen that much from him either. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's definitely, you know, making some big talk. Okay. Those are some fire words. <laughs> We're going to have to see who's coming for you next then. Loki RG, two weeks in a row, we've had you at the top of the standings. You've been impressive thus far. How are you going to continue your performance in week three? Like I told you guys before, I'm going to stay in that flow state. And, uh, I think just keep my head above water, uh, have respect for my other competitors because they clearly have brought their game and uh, just try to make it out. That's the goal. If you had to pick one other competitor that's your biggest challenge, who would you pick? Probably Nova, I'm gonna be honest. Really? She definitely showed and displayed that she has some talent and skill and creativity, you know, to carry on herself in the challenge. I'm gonna be real with you, Nova scares me. Gym leader Coda saw- <laughs> Why do I scare you? Why am I scary? I mean, I can't be scary. Let's be real. Okay. We've all seen the Jubilee episode. I can be a little scary sometimes, but I mean, I was honored that, uh, low key, uh, said that, you know, I was the one to, to look out for Cause I'm like, currently everybody's like low key RGs is killing it. Okay. He's killing it in this competition so far. And he's a really strong player. Um, he's, you know, been at the top of the game for like a lot of the clips and stuff like that. So I was like really honored. Like, <gasps> really? I'm the one to watch out for. Okay. Hmm. So yeah. Gym leader Coda, solid showing so far. How are you feeling? I'm pretty nervous today. Um, I'm thinking eventually I'm going to land in that bottom spot. Um, and I'm really scared for that. I gotta bring it, Sam. Who is your biggest competition right now? You know what? I'm going to say real blue. Blue just... He's so focused and he knows how to play the game. If I'm up against him, I'm, I'm gonna be freaked out. Next, we have Tanya Lynette. Tanya, you've been safe a couple of times now. Haven't placed near the top, but also stayed out of the bottom. What's your strategy in week three? I think my strategy has just been creative with my kills. I think I turned in some good stuff. Sounds like they maybe turned in some garbage. Um, I feel pretty confident with this. Uh, I think I got it in the bag, honestly. I'm gonna enjoy this. PUBG is my game, and I just need to go with the flow and just help that karma. Like, I stay a little quiet because I believe in karma, even in video games. Comes back to bite me sometimes, but I just gotta keep a straight head on and be positive. I'm right there along with you. If you do find yourself in the bottom two this week, who do you not want to face? If it's competitive, I don't know if low key is uh, is gonna get past me. You know, I'm I'm looking I'm looking to go against him. 
he's all show. He's he's definitely all show. All a dream. Ooh, that's also some big talk from Tanya. Because so far, Loki's been killing it in the challenges. And, uh, you know, he's, he's seen as like, and he won the first challenge. And so he's doing really well. So Tanya is also very, very competitive and very confident. So both uh, Tanya and Real Blue are like, you know, confident types and competitive types. And Tanya uh, has a little bit of an advantage that she is a PUBG player. Like she actually plays, you know, uh, first person shooters as well as um, uh, low key. He's also a first person shooter. So actually, you know, they, they have a huge competitive edge as well as I think real blue TV is also an FPS player. So all three of them, uh, are are very very dangerous opponents. Um, at least, at least in my understanding. Okay. All a dream. A bit of a shocking play last week, considering your fail. Slams the Molotov cocktail into the railing and burns herself alive. I don't. I don't know what could be said. It's it's a fail for me. It's a fail. It's a fail. What should we expect next? More epic failness, <laughs> more laughter, and more positive energy. So I gotta ask, who do you think your biggest competition is? Gym leader Coda. Even though uh, phenomenally funny in my eyes, especially the fact with the crossbow kill, I think that was the funniest thing I've watched. <laughs> Thank you, Ale. You're welcome. <laughs> Next up, we have Nova Light Sky back for a third week in a row and last week finishing on top of the leaderboards. As a relatively new player, I got to ask, were you expecting to finish so highly? No, um, I, I thought, you know, I completed the challenge like hooray, but I wasn't expecting to win. I feel a lot better this week. Um, I, you know, I know that I don't have to worry about the elimination this challenge. And I've also been practicing a lot recently. I've just been working my butt off trying to get better. You have immunity, but as this competition progresses, are, is there any player that you're looking at that you don't want to face in that elimination challenge? I'm kind of looking at Tanya as far as I know she has the most experience with this game in particular and she's been hiding under the radar and it's the quiet ones you always want to watch out for. Knowledge is my greatest weapon and I study the play styles of all the other players and I haven't really seen much from Tanya so I don't know what to expect from her. Yep so uh, a lot happened uh, in, in that little interview of mine. So uh, yeah I like I said we we want immunity so I don't have to worry about being eliminated. Um, but as far as like who I was scared of most, yeah, I was scared of, uh, Tanya because, you know, I, I keep scrolling, trying to find like a good, good, like, uh, come on, I need to find a, a better, okay, whatever. We're sticking with this one. Um, but, uh, you know, here's, here's a little, 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 little secret that I did. Um, so when we we're doing some production stuff before recording. Uh, all the contestants and me and the hosts and everybody were all in a group email for something. And I was able to use the group email to figure out who all the other contestants were before, before recording. So <laughs> I, so I was able to use that group email to research as much as I could about all the other contestants um, and try to figure out their play style. So I, so going into the competition, I already knew that Tanya and Loki were both FPS players. And I saw that I, um, Real Blue had a little bit of background as well. So I knew from the beginning that they would be the biggest threats. Um, and, you know, I saw, I saw a little bit of her gameplay, but of course, mobile and uh, controllers are a little bit different, but either way, yeah, it's, uh, we hadn't really seen that much from Tanya in the competition in particular. So I was like, I was a little nervous about her, you know, cause I'm like, Loki RG, I knew he was good, but I've seen him, you know, be good. As far as Tanya goes, though, didn't really see much from her. So I was, I was like, I have no knowledge. That's how I work. Knowledge is is my is my greatest power. Okay. Uh. So yeah, I didn't have much to work with. So so I I don't like not knowing things. Okay. I like knowing things. I like knowing things, you guys. And not knowing things makes me nervous. Okay. So yeah, I mean, it made me made me scared. Um. 
Let's go. Today's challenge is to win a game without a vest, helmet, or backpack. That's right. Doing this is really, really difficult. Not having a helmet to protect your head will leave you susceptible to being taken out in just one shot. And while running around without a vest, that's just crazy. So we'll have to see if the contestants here are sneaky enough to get to that final circle unscathed. Well, Powerbang, do you have any advice for them? Avoid as many conflicts as possible because head to head, the person with armor typically will win the fight. I'll be judging on showmanship and creativity. And I'll be checking out your technical skills and how well you completed the task. Now, in PUBG Mobile, there is an auto loot feature, so you might accidentally pick up a vest and helmet. It's okay, just make sure you drop those before you get back into the fight. Best of luck. Novalite, low key RG, you are safe. That means you're still in the game. Being back in the top feels great, but I still <laughs> understand. Yeah, I'm over here like, <sighs> Okay, I'm safe. Yeah, but I already knew I had I I already knew I had immunity, but I was still like sweating like, oh my gosh, I don't know if there's going to be like a twist or something. <laughs> I was so nervous, okay? Like even even knowing it wouldn't be eliminated, I was I'm still like, okay. Okay. <laughs> game. Being back in the top feels great, but I still understand that anything can happen. Uh I think I've kind of, again, set the tone and let the other people know that if they hadn't already known after the first week, I am here to win. That leaves us with Ale Dream, Real Blue TV, Gym Leader Coda, and Tanya Lynette. You represent the top and bottom players of this week. For Real Blue TV. No helmet, no backpack, no vest, no problem, baby. I felt like your commentary was uh, half the battle here, my friend. It was quite funny, both beginning and end, but I think the crux of the matter was the gameplay. You stayed calm, you didn't reveal yourself until you found your enemy, and ultimately, you took out somebody that was hiding in a bush to get a very nice, clean kill for the victory. You see, I was a bush wookie at the end of the game? The other guy tried to bush wookie me, but I seen him. Bonus marks from me for technical skill. Uh, and I did not see any backpack, helmet, or vest. So nice work, my friend. You did well this week. I really got a little nervous whenever I saw that border coming in right behind you, but you stayed low and you crawled until you got your eyesights on him and he didn't see you coming. So I was really, really impressed. And congratulations, Real Blue TV. You are the winner of this week's challenge and you have immunity from elimination next week. We got it, immunity. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All a dream, Jim. Yeah, man. So like real blue TV over here from the bottom to the top. Oh my gosh. Crawling his way out of, out of the depths. And then, and then he, and then he wins a challenge. Like, man, what a tough cookie. All right. We got some tough competitors in, in this competition. You know, everybody's scary. <laughs> everybody's a little scary. Okay. You never, you never know. You never know what's what, what's uh, what people got up their sleeves. All right. All a dream, gym leader Coda. Unfortunately, you are in the bottom. You will be competing against one another in a final showdown. But now it's time for the critiques. Al a dream, you know your fortune. But let's go over the gameplay. When we switched to your player view, the first thing I noticed was a backpack. The challenge said the word or backpack. So I thought that they meant either or. And that was against the rules. But I was absolutely wrong. In that backpack, I found a- Yeah, unfortunately, like the rule was technically, you know, win a game without a helmet, vest, or backpack, as in you can't have any of those things. Not win a game without a helmet or vest or backpack. You know, it's not like, oh, you drop one of them. No, you gotta, <laughs> you can't have any of them. And unfortunately she, she had several of those items a ton of ammunition that also gives you an unfair advantage over your competition. Slapping on the helmet at the end was just the cherry on top for me. That was random. That was such a new move. I'm sorry. To rate you fairly poorly this week, hopefully you can make it through the elimination challenge. Yeah, I, I honestly am just a little disappointed because unfortunately the auto loot did get you also at the end, but even if it wasn't for the helmet, you still had a backpack on and that was not in the challenge. So unfortunately, you didn't complete it. And for gym leader Coda. I can either get carried by my teammates and just slide through to the victory, right? 
It was a really impressive run up until the very end. I actually really liked how you dropped all of your gear. Or I can fight, nails and teeth biting and scratching. And at the very last moment, four, three, two people left, take everything off and just get that last kill and secure my victory. My man took all his clothes off. <laughs> not just the backpack, not the helmet, and not the vest, but also the gas cans, the Molotovs, <laughs> the energy drinks. You dropped everything, my friend. So props to you for actually following along with the spirit of the competition. But I will say, the accuracy, while on point at the end, you suffered from a lack of ammunition. I don't know if you dropped any in the building, but you could have used it, and unfortunately, you were eliminated from play in only second place. And the goal was to get the chicken dinner, so you fell just a little bit short. I don't know. I thought you would have had that. I know! I'm not gonna lie, if you could win this challenge just on style points, you would have had them soaring from me. But unfortunately, even though you were stripped down to your underoos, you did not even complete the challenge because you didn't get the win, Coda. So unfortunately, that will bring you to our final showdown. Aladrin. So, uh, it's actually interesting how uh, they noted that because I happen to have immunity this week, but <laughs> in my clip that I submitted, I actually did the exact same thing. I ended up throwing literally everything to the ground, just like Coda. Like, here, I'll show you guys really quick. So, yeah, here is my clip, and uh, let's go ahead and watch it for, uh, you know, the one I submitted. Even though I had immunity, you know, I still had to submit a clip because I didn't know I had immunity. So, yeah, uh, let's watch it. Hi, this is Novel Ice Guy, and this is my clip for Challenge 12. Win a game without a vest, helmet, or backpack. And I decided, you know what? You know what? Why stop there? Why stop there? I mean, there's a lot of things I don't need. I don't need grenades. I don't need extra ammo. I don't need clothes. Throw that on the ground too. Might as well. Might as well if we're gonna do this, okay? All right. You happy, y'all? I got nothing on me, okay? No, no clothes. Nothing but guns and a and an album. All right. I mean, I gotta listen to some tunes, okay? Gotta listen to some tunes. No, 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 no. Throw that back on the ground. No, no, no. I don't. I don't need that. I don't need this. Okay. I need Get a rid helmet. of that. Get rid of that. I need Throw a helmet. Something. No, I don't need this. I need a helmet. No, I don't need a helmet. No, you're wrong, game. See, look at this. Look at this. Just in time. Just in time. I don't need a helmet. Okay. <laughs> so I was. I mean, I almost lost that challenge because I the moment I threw everything on the ground after that auto loot, um, I you know our our team got the win, but uh, yeah, I did the exact same thing. Um, I, and, and by the way, the album was a Blackpink album because PUBG was doing a collaboration with Blackpink um, during the time we recorded this. But um, yeah, so. I, I basically did the entire, did the same thing, but I guess, you know, the show didn't include it because there was no point, you know? So, uh, yeah, let's, 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 uh, return back to the show. Ala Dream, gym leader Coda, you are in the bottom two and will be going to an elimination challenge. You'll both be in a one versus one showdown in the arena on the ruins. The first to achieve 12 kills will be moving on to week four. Whoever loses will be eliminated. Coda, oh, that breaks my heart. I'm honestly really relieved. I love Ale, she, we click, but I need to wipe her out right now. Gym leader Coda versus Ale Dream is the worst elimination ever because I don't know who to root for. They're both so nice and they were cheering, they're gonna cheer each other on. I guarantee it. This is ridiculous. It's gonna be like watching two teddy bears try and figure out who's cuddliest in the form of a death match and neither wants to punch each other. <laughs> Players. I love I love that commentary because he is absolutely spot on. Like this this elimination challenge you guys will see it, but like it literally is like two teddy bears fighting each other. <laughs> They're both so nice and encouraging. <gasps> All right, let's watch. Oh, the movement. Oh, oh so close. <gasps> so close. 
so, so close. And just like that, Coda out to a commanding 4-1 to one lead. All the dreams got some catching up to do, and the time is running short. Oh, this is it. This is it. It's over for me. I'm, I'm not going to do this. Oh. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I smell a comeback. All a dream um, makes the score three to four. <gasps> oh, let's go, Ali. <laughs> Ali. This is really intense. This is super intense. Ah, there you are. Hello. Oh, let's oh. go, Ali. Oh. And a headshot. Oops. Just like that, Ollie takes the lead five to four. We have two minutes and 45 seconds left to go in this competition, and it is a nail biter. Two minutes. You, you could catch up. I have faith in you. Thanks, Ollie. I would have been savage, be like, don't talk to me. You're dead. You're dying. To either one of them, okay? It's like, I don't care that they're super nice. This is a competition. Like, I'm not here to make friends with you while we're competing. Man, Tanya, what a savage. <laughs> oh, man. She, yeah, you know, unlike uh, Ali Dream and Coda, I mean, she is not here to make friends. Like, man, it's just like, you are my competitor. I'm going to crush you. <laughs> man. Yeah. I'm so glad that, I'm, I'm so glad the producers picked uh, different kinds of people, you know, some that are like super hyper competitive and, and people that are like super friendly. They just want to have fun and encourage you. It's, it's a nice, it's, 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 it makes a, I don't know. It's a, it gives the show a little spice. Okay. It gives the show a little spice. Oh, Ale. Eight to four. The odds are looking stacked against Coda. Does he have what it takes to bust four kills out in the final minute? Come on, try to get one kill before the time. I ends. know, right? Just one. And the hunt is on. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Go on board, Coda, here for the final five seconds. And this time. is so sad. Ooh. Rip. Air hugs to you, gym leader. Wow. Thank you, Alec. Wonderful job. Yep. F's oh in the God. chat. That's and it. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner. The time ran out, but Ala Dream picking up double the kills of gym leader Coda. It was a slow start. Falling behind four to one early, but Ala Dream comes back with seven unanswered kills to cap things off. So unfortunately for gym leader Coda, that does not mean good things for his time here on the show. After a match with killing one another with kindness, it looks like gym leader Coda, it is game over for you. Bye. Oh, Coda, I'm so Bye. sorry. Bye. Man, like, <sighs> Ali Dream, like, she really brought it back. It was literally a one to four, and then, and then she just, like, completely did a U-turn and then flipped it to eight to four. Like, that is crazy. She did so freaking good. And and during the recording, while we were watching this live, all of the rest of us contestants are like, <laughs> our jaws are dropped. Like, dang, girl, that's crazy. But she pulled it off and 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 she she won. So man like now the rest uh, now the rest of us co uh contestants were like sweating like oh gosh is, is Ali dream like a, is, is she's like secretly like really good <laughs> i feel that i haven't proved myself as good as i can and i know that i could have done better once i hone in on my craftsmanship i will be unstoppable as a gamer and as a pro streamer and that's our show for the week. Head over to the Game on Titan show page on Game On to see full gameplay clips from this week's contestants. So yeah, uh, that was that was episode three. And uh, man, like that that was a fun episode, both to record and to watch. Um, remember this: weekly prizes will be awarded to the fan favorite, which means yes, it is that time again. Vote for my clip. So I'll have links in the description below and in the comments uh, for you to vote for my clip. Look at this. 
It's 63 to 25. So we're slowly catching up. We're slowly getting there, but there's only a few days left. Um, so I really need you guys' help. If you guys have an Amazon account, you guys can help me out by, uh, you know, going to Game on Titans and uh, voting for my clip. So yeah, just click on the, Hi, clip, the click on the thing, and then you click this this little button, and then wow, it's all done. Crazy, and then you help me out. So. You know, thank you. And thank you to everybody that's voted so far. Thank you to the 24 people that have voted for my clip. I mean, I'm the I'm the I'm the 25th person. I voted for myself, of course. Um, but yeah, to the 24 people that have voted so far. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, but we we're going to need more people. We're going to beat Tanya. So uh, thank you all so much. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, check out Game on Titans. Uh, you can also watch on Amazon Prime or you can go to the Game on Titans website if you want to watch the full, full episode because uh, I edit I edit the episode down and I, cl and I have to clip out parts just for the sake of time. But if you guys want to watch the full unedited thing, then you guys can uh, watch it at those places. Or if you want to download the app, you know, you can download the app as well. I have links for that in the description below. So thank you all so much. And uh, if you guys have any questions, put them below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Let's see. Let's see. We're either going to win or we will die gloriously. Go!